Buy Me Love is a 1987 comedy directed by Steve Rash and starring Patrick Dempsey, Amanda Peterson, Courtney Gaines, Tina Caspary, Eric Buscotter, Darcy DeMoss, and Seth Green. The film opens with mowing and crushing. No, Ronald's not being creepy at all. Then Malachi shows up to discuss the female of their species. Holy shit, is everyone just going to leer at Cindy in this movie? Mom splits and Cindy immediately grabs the outfit Mom told her not to wear. <laughs> ah, the 1980s when the mall would have a store that sold only telescopes. This is convenient stalking. All right, this is my chance to manipulate this girl to do my bidding. And Cindy agrees out of pure desperation. Glasses have been removed, so now Ronald is hot. Hey, it looks like Ronald is already starting to alienate his friends. Ronald and Cindy are already bonding as his friends are being left in the dust. Ah, here's that restraining order, and thanks for the thousand bucks, dickhead. Cindy reveals some of her poetry, and they frolic with a garden hose. You know, it seems to me Ronald got the girl. Is this the end of the movie? They check out some junk airplanes and some astronomy. <laughs> Slap, bitch! And Ronald becomes a mega douche. Then Patty asks him to the dance, but Ronnie needs to learn some moves. <laughs> will this faux pas embarrass him? Or will everyone join in thinking it's cool? Hey look, the school got Kmart Prince to play the dance. Ronnie starts showing what he learned, and it doesn't go well. It all works out, though, because everyone mindlessly follows his lead. And he's rewarded by seeing Barbara's boobies. Hey, look, it's Halloween. Time to cause a ruckus. <laughs> Ronald caves to the peer pressure, and they cause some fecal vandalism. Ronnie is a dick. It's another party and Cindy is hitting the Tito's pretty fucking hard. That scumbag is using her poem to get some ass. And Ronnie leaves. Ronnie is now a social leper and decides to go for his backup plan. Look, look, the asshole deserves it, but don't hurt that poor centipede machine. Back at school, Kenneth is tutoring Patty, and the fellas aren't having it. Maybe if I dress like a cowboy, I'll be popular. And he mows off into the sunset. Nope, Cindy returns, and they both mow off into the sunset. Can't buy me love as a nice piece of 1980s nostalgia. One of the interesting things is our hero Ronnie is an asshole, obsessed with popularity. He is definitely the kind of guy who would do anything to enhance his social media numbers today. The acting is decent, and the plot's okay. It's not a top-tier film, but it's one that sticks with you even years after you watch it. Didn't you take economics? You could head me for 